Mmm. Garbage. In the fast-paced world of today, nobody has the time to make their own food. It's either takeout or frozen dinners. But most often, these ready-made foods are heavily disappointing. Continuing with our list of disappointing foods, here are 10 times grocery store foods didn't meet expectations. You disappoint me when I had such high hopes for you. Popsicle characters. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good popsicle? And if the popsicles come in the shape of your favorite cartoon characters, there's nothing better. From Tweety Bird to Pikachu to Powerpuff Girls, popsicles are now available in an endless range of characters. While the packaging and marketing of these popsicles may lure innocent customers, what you discover when you unwrap the packaging can shock you. Imagine you just bought a sonic-shaped popsicle from your local grocery store and unwrapped it to find something that looked like a Frankenstein monster of a hedgehog. Uh, meow? This is exactly what one customer found in his Sonic Popsicle. A very weird-looking ice cream pop with unevenly placed gumball eyes and a melted face that would probably give you nightmares. But poor old Sonic is not the only one who suffered such a horrible fate. When a customer unwrapped a Tweety Bird Popsicle, what he got was a yellow bird-shaped lolly with gumball eyes that made the bird look as high as the sky. Hey, you know what we should do now? Eat? No. Eat. Everyone's favorite SpongeBob SquarePants has not been spared either. Inside the wrapper was a yellow popsicle that looked like something you would retrieve from a horrible nuclear disaster. X-Men, Spider-Man, Dora the Explorer, and Bugs Bunny are some of the other falsely advertised popsicle characters. Hamburger Helper Hamburger Helper is a unique boxed food item that is supposed to help make your meal prep easier. It generally has some kind of starch, like pasta, potato, or rice, along with seasoning packets and sauce in powdered form. Just keep it simple. Keeping it simple, that's what yeah. I'm doing. Hamburger Helper comes in many flavors, like cheeseburger macaroni, Philly cheesesteak, cheesy enchilada, crunchy taco, etc. Hamburger Helper entices customers on grocery store shelves with its mascot of a cute white glove that has a red nose. The imagery of a beautiful plate of cheesy macaroni or creamy pasta adds to the shelf appeal of Hamburger Helper. But appearances can be deceptive. So all of it was a lie? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, it all was a lie. Most customers have complained that the contents of Hamburger Helper contain way too much sodium. As for the taste, customers who purchased the cheesy hash brown Hamburger Helper stated that it tasted like cardboard and the potatoes had an artificial taste. Oh, sweet lord! Oh, this is what evil must taste like! On the whole, Hamburger Helper meals are cheap and easy, but almost always never deliver the way the picture on the box promises. Skyline Chili Spaghetti. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hear me out. Hear me out. Don't dismiss this. You're very quick to dismiss. Don't dismiss. A Cincinnati institution, Skyline Chili is a popular chain of chili restaurants in Cincinnati, Ohio. People from across the country flock to Cincinnati to taste this superb chili dish. Unlike the chili of the South, Skyline Chili has dishes consisting of spaghetti or hot dogs doused with a uniquely spiced and flavored chili sauce sauce topped with a mountain of grated cheese. After achieving much success with their chain of restaurants, Skyline Chili has also ventured into the sale of canned chili sauce and frozen meals. The picture depicts clearly distinct layers of spaghetti, their famous chili sauce, and a mound of grated cheese on top. But alas, this pre-cooked chili spaghetti meal is far from the picture shown on the box. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. In reality, what a customer got was a container of very gross-looking brown sauce with bits of cooked spaghetti floating around in it. What a mess! As for the taste, customers have reported that it is far from the taste of the original Skyline Chili Spaghetti served at the restaurant. They found the taste of the frozen meal to be bland, soapy, and very weird. There was no hint of any of the original spices, and on the whole, the meal looked and tasted very unappetizing. Wow, this is garbage.
You actually like this? Stouffer's Bistro. Stouffer's Bistro meals are advertised as restaurant-inspired flavors you can bring home. They go on to state that in their frozen meals, you can enjoy the taste of restaurant favorites anytime with Bistro Crostinis, Melts, and Paninis that are meaty, cheesy, and ready in no time. This all sounds great, but... What's the catch? Unfortunately, customers would not agree with this description. Most people think that the biggest problem with Stouffer's Bistro meals is that they are packed with sodium, which is not exactly healthy for you. Stouffer's French bread salad. The only ingredient is chunks. Of what? When a customer opened their Philly-style steak and cheese crostini, he was shocked to find that there were just two small pieces of meat in the filling and a whole lot of shell. This is some hot garbage! Another customer was hugely disappointed with their experience of Stouffer's Bistro Cheddar and Goat Cheese Mac. Instead of cavatappi pasta in white cheddar and creamy goat cheese sauce, what they got was pasta in a thin, runny, and mild cheese sauce that had not been seasoned at all. Celeste Pizza for One Celeste Pizza for One pizzas come in a variety of flavors, like original, four cheese, pepperoni, deluxe, and many others. The pizzas come pre-arranged and frozen in a box. All you have to do is heat them in the oven and enjoy while hot. But somehow, when you pull them out of the oven, they never look like they do on the package. Which means all of this is a lie. With Celeste Pizza for One, the first warning sign is on the box, where it says microwaves in two minutes. While the convenience of that may sound appealing, the end result of a two-minute microwaved frozen pizza can be, well, less than desirable. What have I become? Was this whole thing even worth it? Take a look at some of these many instances where a person put a Celeste pizza for one in the microwave and ended up with a monstrosity like this. Or like this. Like almost all pizzas, the Celeste pizza for one is actually pretty tasty in the end, even if it looks nothing like what you were expecting. I don't know what the hell that is, but I'll lick it anyway. Raisin Bran Two Scoops What's the one thing that is synonymous with Raisin Bran? Well, that's undoubtedly the two scoops of raisins in each box. It has been part of their marketing lingo for years. Two scoops of raisins inside every box of Raisin Bran cereal. Two scoops! And well, everyone just took them at their word on this one, and we all just assumed there was indeed two scoops in every box. Well, in this modern internet age, no such claims can go untested, and a customer decided to see just how many scoops really are in a box of Raisin Bran. If they lie to me, they don't respect me. What were the results? Well, turns out there's less than one scoop in the family-sized box, is what the conclusion was. Post Raisin Bran, like Kellogg's, but worse. This is going to make a lot of people feel cheated and deceived. To be fair, there was not much outrage over this. So while, yes, you were deceived by Kellogg's, your Raisin Bran is still perfectly delicious just the way it is. Stuffed Crust Pizza. Oh, can we get stuffed crust? Mmm, stuffed crust. I'll stuff you all in the crust! <laughs> Move over, boring regular crust and thin crust pizzas. The stuffed crust pizza is here. Pizza is already one of the most popular foods out there, but companies will always look for ways to stand out. Stuffed crust pizza, in theory, is a fantastic idea. The one part of the pizza some people aren't so high on is the crust. I don't want it. I never have. So the answer was a simple one, stuff it with cheese, basically turning the bland crust into delicious cheesy bread. That said, the execution of the stuffed crust is where the problem lies. Every picture you'll see will promote a crust stuffed to the brim with gooey, perfectly melted cheese just oozing out. But the reality when you pull your stuffed crust pizza out of the oven is usually very lacking. 
I knew it was too good to be true. Whether it's a lack of cheese, inconsistent melting, the crust turning into a mushy mess, there's many ways this perfect idea can go wrong, and often does. Now, we aren't going to point out one specific company for this. If you've ever bought a stuffed crust pizza at the grocery store, regardless of brand, you've probably felt the disappointment we speak of at one point or another. Fit and active stuffed sandwiches. When hearing the words stuffed sandwiches, most of us will conjure up thoughts of massive sandwiches overstuffed with meat, cheese, and all the fixings. In fact, one would think that after eating something called a stuffed sandwich, you would also be, well, stuffed yourself. How dare you make such an assumption? Fit and active is the maker of these said stuffed sandwiches, and anyone buying these expecting them to actually be stuffed, well, here comes the letdown. These are very flat, unstuffed sandwiches, if that's even what we are going to call these. They are clearly more of a Hot Pocket-inspired snack than a sandwich. What? What a ripoff! One customer even found himself with a completely empty fit and active stuffed sandwich. Talk about irony. Though it's hilarious to see the packaging show off a packed-to-the-brim stuffed sandwich next to these sad, empty little bread pockets. So while your expectations must always be tempered when buying frozen foods, this one is particularly egregious and, well, also pretty funny. Does my turmoil amuse you, Jim? Lean Cuisine Frozen Dinners Lean Cuisine Frozen Dinners promise meals with a low calorie count that still satisfy your taste buds. Like most frozen meals, Lean Cuisine Frozen Dinners have a plethora of options that you can choose from. Most consumers have their expectations in check when they buy frozen meals. I baptize you mediocre at best. Even though the package portrays a delectable looking meal, we know that if it looks that that good, it probably isn't true. Most customers have found that Lean Cuisine frozen dinners did not meet their expectations. Their thin crust barbecue chicken pizza was found to be hard and rubbery, nearly impossible to chew. But your joy still hurts? Yeah, it's all swollen. Compared to the size shown on the box, the Lean Cuisine enchilada was very small and had practically no chicken pieces in it. Reportedly, it was mostly rice and had a greasy, off-putting taste to it. Their sesame seed chicken also sorely disappoints, with its rubbery green beans, bland sauce, and minimalistic chicken. You sit on a throne of lies. Amy's Cheese Enchilada. I call this one the whole enchilada. One of the most popular cuisines in the world, Mexican cuisine, has an amazing array of dishes that suit every palate. And enchiladas are one such versatile dish consisting of a rolled tortilla filled with cheese, beans, meat, and veggies covered in a delicious sauce. Amy's cheese enchilada claims to be all this, but has sadly disappointed many customers. Why? <laughs> what have you done now? Nothing. Amy's is a brand known for their variety of frozen meals that customers can just heat in their microwave and enjoy instantly. They describe their cheese enchilada meal as comfort food Mexican style. But alas, the actual product is far from the description. In reality, the enchiladas seem to be completely drowning in sauce, making the whole dish look like a soup. The enchiladas were also greasy and very heavy. Most have agreed that nothing in Amy's cheese enchilada looked fresh. Though easy to microwave and serve, Amy's cheese enchilada left many customers disappointed. I expect nothing, and I'm still let down. Stay right here for more great videos. Just tap that screen. First time here? Then hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.